Hi, I'm talking to Rob here for Big Fan Showdown. So, Rob, what can you tell us about the company behind it? What can you tell us about Sold Out? Okay, yeah, so Sold Out are the publishing partner that we're working with. Uh, so we as developers are Hyperluminal Games, so we've been the dev for the game for just under two years now. And we partnered up with uh, Sold Out to bring the game to consoles. Uh, sometime later on this year, we'll be delivering to Steam, PlayStation 1, and X sorry, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One uh, later this year with a Nintendo Switch release coming the first quarter of next year. Uh, so Sold Out have been handling a lot of our marketing and distribution thus far. Uh, they've brought us to EGX Res here today. So um, yeah, they've been a great partner for us so far. Yeah. And is this the first game you've produced? I mean, as a developer, no? It's the first public uh, game that we've had that is our own original IP. So we've been a developer for around four years now. Uh, but we've done a lot of work for higher projects, a lot of client work, uh, gamification and educational tools, things like yeah. that. Uh, but now we're really pushing into the world of our own IP, and this is our first release into that. So, uh, yeah, it's a really exciting time for us. Oh, that's good to hear. And about Big Crown Showdown, mm -hmm. um, what was the inspiration for the game? So the inspiration, well, the, first of all, we had a playable prototype that one of our employees brought in. It was a programmer who worked with us that brought in a, a very small, uh, highly polished prototype. It was a little different from what it is now. It was more of a kind of racer-focused game, but we played that through and we really liked what we saw. Um, so we decided to just take it farther and over the course of, like I said, about two years, uh, we've developed it as a team and we've built up the art and the design and just really iterated on it. And uh, we've kind of brought it into what it is today. So it's, um, it's inspired by a whole bunch of different games, uh, things like kind of uh, Mario Kart and Smash Brothers and so a lot of party Micro games, Exactly, right? yeah, things that kind of capture that uh, real sort of social party atmosphere, that's yeah. what we want. Uh, and so is this the kind of game that actually has a story to it or is it more just down to the actual gameplay? Yeah, so there is a story, yeah, there's a little bit of context that sets up the, what we call the Big Crown Showdown. So um, what happened is that the Grumble Guard, they're the four knights that you play as, uh, they're the king's completely inept bodyguards. And one day an evil wizard, the great wizard Fonkin appears, puts the king out the window and takes his crown for his own. So he's now the ruler of the lands. What he does now is he throws the knights 100 years into the future through a time portal. And when they emerge, they emerge into the Big Crown Showdown, which is an event that Fonkin puts on uh, for people to try and win back the crown because he's a bit weird that way. So he puts his own crown up for grabs. So an egomaniac. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Best kind of villain. Pardon? Best kind of villain. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so can you describe the gameplay a bit for us? Sure, yeah, so it's a real mix of kind of classic 3D platforming and uh, kind of party brawler combat. Uh, so we kind of just merged those two uh, genres together really nicely. Um, it's a dead simple little game, you know, pick up and play. It's only just a couple of buttons, but that means people can get into it straight away. Um, it's a really sort of for a broad demographic, so it's nice and easy for kids and adults alike to just sort of pick up and have a bit of fun. Um, the main objective of the game is to just knock other players off the track. Uh, the camera keeps moving along a, an assault course style track and you have to kind of keep up and dodge swinging axes and rolling blades and uh, yeah, knock other players off and just try and stay alive as long as you can. And so we've seen the uh, free-for-all four-play mode. Do you have yeah. any ideas for any other modes coming out or adding it as you go? Yeah, we have some rough ideas at the moment. I mean, at the moment we're really focusing on the core experience that we have and so that's the main gauntlet game mode that we have. Uh, we have some plans for DLC down the line, but um, we're, we're still kind of working through that at the moment. We're really just focusing on the core release So for the right time now. being, it's just going to be the free-for-all four-player. That's right, well. yeah. So it's local uh, multiplayer as well as online play. Um, so if you don't have four friends that you can bring around to your house to play right away, you can jump online and you can play with players that way. So. Okay. Uh, and what was the decision for the art style based on? So the art style was based on a whole bunch of different kind of historical references that we bring. So my business partner, Sam, uh, he is a concept artist day today. So he's done a lot of the concept designs and a lot of the drawings to build up the characters and the aesthetic of the world. Uh, so he pulls a lot of inspiration from kind of uh, historical dress or armor or things like that. Um, we also like to juxtapose ideas. So we'll take things like a desert, but then we'll flood it, you know, or we'll take his castle and just throw it up in the sky, you know, and do kind of weird things like that. Put a bit of a twist on kind of normal uh, sort of medieval flavor uh, so type really make it your own. Yeah, exactly, yeah, make it a bit more unique. Okay. Uh, and so you've spoken a bit about what you want post release. Is there anything though that you want to put in the core experience that you haven't been able to do throughout the time constraints or anything else? Sure, I mean, I think there's always little bits and pieces that you have to cut and, you know, in, during games development, that's pretty normal. You know, we try and shoot really high and just squeeze in what we can. But no, I feel that Big Crunch Showdown is a really complete experience, actually. I think it really hits the nail on the head what we were trying to achieve. Um, everyone that's played it so far seems to really enjoy it. So I think we've got a great experience. All right, well, that's, that's good to hear. It was good talking to you. Yeah, you too. Thanks very much. Right, I appreciate sure. it. Yeah. Be sure to check out this game when it comes out. Thanks Thank very you. much.